Hi everyone, welcome to day six of our Gospel of Luke challenge. We are in chapter six. And so Jesus begins with an interesting teaching about the Sabbath. There are two case studies, two teachable moments, if you will, where he is observed to be doing things that are forbidden by the law to do on the Sabbath. The first, he and his disciples are walking through a field of grain, and so they pull heads of wheat and begin to eat. This is considered work, and so the Pharisees ask, why are you doing this? Jesus makes an important statement that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. On another occasion, on the Sabbath day, he encounters a man with a withered hand, and he encourages the man to reach out his hand and, and be healed. And he asked this question, I, ta I ask you, which is lawful to do on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? Again, Jesus is demonstrating his authority. And he is demonstrating that man is not made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath is made for man. In other words, these rules, these laws are for our good. They're not ends in and of themselves. We have the first listing here in Luke of the 12 apostles. And then Luke proceeds to uh, recount Jesus' Sermon on the Plain. We're more familiar with the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. Um, Luke uh, has much of that same content in a place where um, we're told that Jesus stood on a level place to share these words with them. It might be interesting to compare the Beatitudes as listed in Matthew with the blessings and woes that Luke has. Some similarities, but with each blessing there is a countering woe. So whereas he says, blessed are the poor, he will say, woe to the rich. Note also that Luke focuses on human beings' uh, daily needs. So rather than the poor in spirit, it's the poor. Rather than those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, it is those who hunger now. So Luke very much recognized that Jesus was concerned with the least of these. And so he demonstrated that in his healing and in his teaching. He goes on to talk about love for enemies. Again, we see some of those parallel words um, that come in the Sermon on the Mount. And uh, he's encouraging the, um, to love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. He will go on to talk about judging others. And here he adds a bit to uh, the passage that we're familiar with. He says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. So we see uh, more in depth here in chapter 6, Jesus' teaching ministry. He'll go on to talk about a, true and a tree and its fruit and how a good tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. So he's teaching about the importance of consistency, that what we have inside of ourselves um, is what is expressed. Um, he says also, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So again, that uh, importance of being consistent internally with what we're expressing externally. Finally, he concludes with the story of the wise and foolish builders, the man who builds his house on the rock versus the man who builds his house on the sand, and when the flood comes, it is washed away. Hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at Luke chapter 6. Hope to see you tomorrow for Luke chapter 7.